Yo, so um, I just want to follow up on what's going on with uh, Bitcoin and you know how this relates to QFL trading. Uh, I'm pretty freaking excited. Like, let me just let me just get this out of the way. I'm I'm pretty excited. Um, Give me a little drink. Start sitting down, looking at this. Wasn't trying to make a video, but okay. I'm just gonna get right into it. So I've kind of had some fun with PineScript coding and just made this as simple as possible where I can just open up the computer and look at this, okay? So this is a daily, and basically what the color schemes just mean is, you know, on one end I have yellow, and on the other end I have red, okay? Yellow is like, it's a go. Um, and then red is like, you know, it's we're dropping. And right now, it is yellow for three days, which is also good. Um, and then this is like a, a indicator called the Ichimoku indicator. So I, I, I kind of dumb it down in terms of how I see this, but this is really important. It's just price, you know, uh, moved back 26 periods. And so since we're on a daily, it's 26 days ago. And all that that means is, is if this little line right here is above this moving average cloud, I call it a cloud, um, and, and also it's above uh, price, then that's that's a signal, okay? So I couple that with, um, this is the ADX, uh, whoops. So this is the ADX, and this red line is kind of the zone. It needs to get to this red line in order for it to be trending. Um, so this is, um, I keep hitting that. Um, so you get the idea, I'm just basically saying like, this is a signal, this is almost a signal, this just needs to break above 45K. And now what does that mean with QFL? So um, with QFL, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. It's just getting crazy. <laughs> coins that have been dropping like 98% of its value. I'm I'm following these shit coins, these crap coins, but just because they're, you know, potentially profitable, I guess is like the best way. They, they move way more than, you know, your average alt coin. Um, and it is dangerous to trade because, you know, if they delist this coin on KuCoin, then you're screwed and you're stuck holding a bag. But with that said, um, I've been putting the, you know, the ProSum Solutions bot on this particular coin and just not even really paying attention, just making free coins. And uh, I have been selling and then reloading again, like whatever I'm selling, I'm just reloading again. And then I'm selling more of it and just do, doing that over and over again. So I just want to show you what's going on. Um, and, you know, full disclosure, this is Mnet, Mainnet. I, there's, there's nothing to hide about this. I mean, it's, it's a crap coin. Good luck trading it. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of people have been burned by it, um, but you can see like this. This was a good amount of size that I I whacked because you know we, we had just gone so far down. I'm like, man, if it goes down further, I want to reload. And so I sold a good bit of it, and then I started ladder layering, as you can see. And then I just reloaded, and then played played the same game again, where uh, I'm just I'm selling, and then I'm reloading. And then um, as you go into here, you can see like I'm selling. And then I'm reloading and then selling and then reloading and then selling and then reloading and then selling and then reloading and selling and reloading and selling, selling, selling. And now I'm wanting to reload down here, as you can see, because we're kind of, we're either going to go up into these layers of mine and then the rest I'm going to hold on to um, for later or I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm showing you like, this is, this is what's going on. Um, and then this is another, so, so you've got these crap coins that are going down like that. Then you have um, these like alts, just regular alts that, you know, this is nano and nano is crazy. So with hybrid AB trading, um, trying to see what I'm, well, I want to focus on, but basically with hybrid AB trading, um, when Bitcoin gets to this point and we just, we're just going up, basically what that does is it's the way that I see it, or the way that I look at this is it's kind of like an insurance to have buyers in the market. And so I like buyers in the market. It's it's a very like safe feeling for me to want to get size sooner. And that's not like the QFL strategy. You're supposed to, you know, say, please go lower. And uh, wow, this, this last drop just, I mean, like multiple times, like these have been just like draining drops. Like this one in particular has just been like brutal. Like, you know, that was, like oh, like two and a half months, okay, 73 days. Maybe it was, yeah, like two and a half months. Just brutal. So basically like all through Thanksgiving until um, pretty much like February. And then we even went back down. So it's like until springs, you know what I'm saying? Like that, 
that was that was pretty brutal on my account in terms of what I was anticipating making um, because these were all drops, but they would all you know return to their bases and then it started climbing back up. And I don't know, just this this whole thing has been pretty brutal in terms of um, helping people learn QFL. It's it's not the most ideal condition, and you know it was kind of like I mean it's 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 like that on and off. So anyways, I'm just saying that if we start trending right here and there are a few pit stops that we're going to have to make as you can see there's clouds behind this um and uh and and they mean something so these are basically um these these hard lines right here are like 50 percent lines um on different time frames so all that they mean to me is is just where there's going to be a lot of sellers okay and same with the uh the inverse like down here these are lines where buyers are going to be or uh another way of seeing it is where a lot of stop losses are going to uh, get triggered so uh, I feel I feel really smart, you know, having these lines on my chart, or or better, like I don't I don't necessarily feel smart. I just feel safe, knowing kind of like okay, well, you know, this is how much headroom that we've got. Like, you know, we've got from 40, 44 to forty eight, forty nine, but um, right now what we're working with is this range. So from like forty five down to, um, really, I'm I'm caring more about forty. You know, so from like 45 to 40, that's like the range that, that I'm really paying attention to. And the reason why I'm going over all of this is just because, you know, when you're trading QFL, you, you better pay attention to this. Um, and then, you know, I've got these other charts and I don't want to get like too crazy into these charts. Um, this was a chart that was the strategy, like a long and short strategy using a, uh, a parabolic stop and reverse, a, a PSAR or SAR, S-A-R, stop and reverse indicator. You can see it coming down and that's short and that's long. Well, I realized that this is actually really awesome for QFL trading. Um, so as you can see, like all of this blue right here is really great um, as we're going up. And then when we're going down, the, uh, the purple is, is really good for, you know, getting major, major size as it goes down. Um, so I just want to show you right now that we're, we're, we're in a place where, and, and I'm not going to go too deep into like the technical analysis of this indicator, but as you can see, like the way that um, this works, it's a um, stochastic RSI um, is, you know, when you see these dots, that's places where you can let go of some. And then right here, this is like pullbacks, like where you can reload up um, is how you can kind of see it. And so right now we're kind of like reaching this point. And then, you know, here we've got support and resistance. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. As you can see, like all of these lines, they're, they're, they're going up. And so if, if it goes down and, you know, ideally I'm wanting it to go down to way down here. Um, I really would love for it to go. If it's going to go down, just just get it over with. Just go down there. Um, but if it doesn't, and it just keeps following this trend right here, whew, like, then what does that mean for you know QFL trading? Well, there's going to be a lot more coins just going berserk, shooting up, pullback trading. You know, it shoots up and it comes down, and you load up, and then it goes up to the top of the range, and you sell some off, and then it just keeps climbing up, and you're just selling free coins, free coins, free coins, where you you know you keep your profits in the coin, and then you sell it. Uh, but it also, for me, I really like hybrid AB trading, which basically for me, you just put a bot on it. I use the ProSum Solutions indicator. And basically what that means is, is you know, you're, you're doubling up in size as you go further down the range. And um, those layers, you know, these, these buy layers are widening. So as you can see, they're, they're doubling up in spacing. And then I'm going to get the most size down here, which is awesome uh, if it does go down there. And then once I'm in profit, about 5%, um, usually I sell most of it, keep my profits in free coins. And it looks something like this. And wow, is it awesome for somebody like me that is busy and I'm wanting to focus on other things. So again, let's just go back to this amazing like opportunity here. Um, this is RSI. And, and again, I, I don't want you to get like overwhelmed with what you're looking at. Um, I just want to point out something. And that is like most people, they look at the, the chart like this. Um, oh, this is a six hour. Uh, interesting, six hour. I wonder why I was looking at a six hour. I really like the four hour, the 12 hour, but I guess I have a six hour in here now. Hmm. Six hours is good. I really like the 12 hour. So it would make sense if I'm looking. Um, I think I just recently added that. Maybe I've had that for a while. I don't know. But um, most people just look at it this way. They don't see kind of, you know, the bigger picture in terms of the clouds because we're looking at the same thing. And I, I see this huge opportunity here where we've been ranging. Here's all the sellers. The sellers are, are drained out except for right here, here and here. So we still have some like bad guys to deal with. Um, as you can see, but um, there's this faint blue cloud and that is like the weekly. The weekly chart like is super powerful. And as you can see, um, this is like whale support. So once it drops here, 
then, then our next uh, whales are going to be right here. You've got some whales at like 33, you've got some whales at 28. But after that, the whales are in this little chunk right here, which is 27 to 21. Um, this, is, this is really valuable. Like if you haven't messed with Ichimoku, I highly recommend, you know, just pulling it up and treating it exactly like how you see it. These are little lines and they're either stop losses or support. And, you know, I, I really use them a lot in terms of like my technical analysis. So like I can tell you right now with the weekly, um, we're at this this cloud right here. That is like, this is where like all of the sellers are lined up and they're like, man, if it crosses that line, we better get out of the way for a second until 50. And so here's your next round of sellers right here at 50. And these are the people that they bought in right here and they're trying to exit. And so that's what these lines really represent is just people that you know have bought in at, at, at about 50 right here and they've they've waited it for they've waited for it to come up and it didn't it came back down and now it's come back here and they're like all right time to sell so then after that then we've got from 50 to about 65 and 70 and from that point on if if we climb from here like i'm i'm really just hoping for this and when it does that that's when i just start putting bots on all of these uh alts there's buyers in the market and I'm just making free coins for these things that just will skyrocket. I'm just selling and selling. It's just awesome. And, you know, if it drops and it does come down to, you know, this, this little area right here, I really care about this little area, this patch right here. Um, because this is kind of like, uh, instead of like where whales are, I would say this is where like the stop loss line is. Okay. That's how I, that's how I see it. You know, a lot of people have bought right here and they're expecting it to do this. So everybody bought in down here at 30 and they're like, all right, this is going to go, you know, we're going to go and look, you know, I, I look up at these numbers, like people are like 100k Bitcoin never. I'm like, I don't care about what the price of Bitcoin is. I care about the percentage gains. Like uh, that, that is like how I, I see it because, you know, from, from 50 to 100, that's, that's just a hundred percent move. Right. Um, you know, from, from 50 to hundred, that's just, you know, a hundred percent move. Um, now from nine, nine, you know, nine or 10,000 to 60,000, you know, that's a 500% move. And so that's why I'm like, man, if we can get it to come back down to here, then when it goes to 100, that's a 300% move as opposed from just like 50 to 100. That's why I am not opposed if it goes up and I'm not opposed if it goes down because the only thing that really can suck right now is either like a slow death down here or just a slow range. And it's just ranging incredibly slow. Like those two things, no volatility will just ruin this whole thing. So good luck um, trading, and I really hope that you can catch these opportunities. Okay, <laughs> just looking at looking at these opportunities, um, and I'll show you maybe how I'm I'm doing this. So I use two Ichimoku uh, indicators. One is just like the default settings, and then the other one is the uh, default settings times four. Some people use the Ichimoku settings, and they make these like, you know, no offense to like crypto Ichimoku settings. I feel you. I feel you. But like. I'm just going to use the default settings and multiply them, you know, times four. And I do overlay two of them, but I treat them like places where um, you could, you know, think of where the sellers and the buyers are located at. And that's exactly, you know, what I'm doing with this is I'm like, and I, I view it on like the one minute chart uh, when, when there's a lot of volume and movement. Um, so, so as you can see, you know, when it, when it pulls back to this particular line, um, it didn't come down here in this case, but it kept going and then it came and hit that line. Finally, that would be a place to like get some or this line right here, you know, any of these lines right here. Although I'm more interested in like the blue line and it didn't really come down. So you can see that that I'm not buying up in here. And then we get cloud support, which I'm not really all that into the cloud support. I want it to kind of come down and touch these lines and then keep keep going further. And also like the volume was good. It just wasn't like this. Just I didn't I, I wanted it to come down. And it, and it kind of stair stepped down and you can see like, I'm just not into that. Like I want it to, I mean, they, they, they really aren't giving any opportunities or chances um, for, for you to safely, I mean, I guess technically not right here because by the time it moved up, then that moved up, but probably like right here, this would have been a place that I could have, I, I just don't feel like safe enough because all the real buyers are down here. And so it, it didn't really give an opportunity um, to sell. And that's exactly how I play it. I, I want um, to load up that way. Um, I wonder if there's anything else that we can take a look at while I have uh, stuff open. I've also been doing bots, um, just kind of like when there's opportunities. Let me turn this crazy Ichimoku off. Um, 
So with this, I am doing these uh, bots on these coins that drop like a certain amount. So it's like, I think like 21%. Um, so in this case, it was like 21% and then 34, but basically, you know, from like right here, um, that's that's how I'm playing it. Maybe maybe let's focus on this one. Did this not? I'm still waiting right here with this. Nope. Nope. This this is already played out. Um, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is a, one that I'm I'm wanting to AB trade. Um, I don't mind showing you, you know, what I'm looking at because good luck, good luck trading this. Uh, but you know, I saw it giving these wicks and you know, 79, 79%. It's about as simple as that. I mean, it, it can keep going down like that. So that's why I'm like, I'm able to show you this. Cause I'm like, ha, you know, what do I do if it drops down further? But I mean, look how far down it's, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like if you count from right there to right there, like it's lost like over 96% of its value. So, you know, if it keeps going down further, eh, you know, the odds of it coming back up, I'm willing to just buy right there. And if it goes back up, great. But you can see, like, that's where I'm at. And there's like 44K USD um, on the, uh, you know, on the volume, 24 hour volume right now. So there's not really like a whole lot going on with this chart right now. But I guess I'm just showing you that because, you know, um, this one right here, I think this is part of the bot. And yep, you can see like once it triggers that line and we buy, then it lists it for a sell. And then we've got uh, another buy down here. If it goes down there, then there will be one one more. Um, so I'm buying like three layers worth on these coins. And this one has not had a good run. It's just been a straight um, down. And every time it, it comes back up to touch this trend line, you know, it comes down, touches the trend line, goes down, touches the trend line, goes down, touches the trend line, goes down, touches the trend line. So I probably should logically be buying right here. Um, but this is one of those situations where um, I am doing a little bit of technical analysis and I'm saying, okay, well, every time it's going down further, the the price is going lower and we're getting divergence um, right here. So divergence, divergence, and now we're going lower than the... Um, the, the body of the candle, which that's what the RSI cares about. So, mm, you know, if, if I had a little bit more uh, guts, I would probably take this layer and just throw it into that. But I'm gonna wait and see if I get a wick, right? Um, the volume is picking up on it, on it dropping, and it could go down further. But I mean, it really did drop from, you know, from 12. Twelve down to, you know, zero point. Zero, zero 012. I don't know. That's just brutal. Anyways, um, I'm going to get back to looking at my charts. So good luck. And uh, man, you know, it's funny uh, when I call attention to subscribing, I actually get a bunch more subscribers. And uh, I would not mind uh, getting a thousand subscribers and um, doing live streaming. So, you know, feel free to subscribe if you want, because I would not mind um, doing some live streams. And, you know, I'll. We'll, we'll look at this and you can ask questions. And um, I mean, this is just so much fun for me. I really appreciate um, having a reason to make these videos. Uh, really, I'm just making them for the homies in the Hotelu group. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun just having an opportunity to um, look at this because every time I look at this and explain it, I feel like I'm learning something new. So with that said, go and subscribe.